All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video, and we're going to be discussing The Last of Us uh, Part One remake leaks because the game, the gameplay for the remake has leaked, and people are not necessarily happy about what they're seeing. So I believe first screenshots, unofficial screenshots, had leaked. I, I believe that was the first leak we got, and then Naughty Dog released official screenshots. Um, my timeline with that might be a little off, but we've definitely gotten leaked screenshots and official screenshots, right? And then yesterday, actual gameplay um, started to leak, and it's not meeting, it's not leading, um, meeting up to what people's expectations are. Granted, um, there's clear like variations of what certain people were expecting from this remake. People had a bunch of different expect expectations of what this remake was gonna be, depending on uh, who you ask. So I'm gonna discuss that. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the game, the leak gameplay and everything like that, and my thoughts on this leak. So first, we gotta discuss the leaking issue at Naughty Dog. <clears throat> this is weird, because you've had, even though, you know, obviously this is a remake, You've had two consecutive projects leak now. The Last of Us um, Part Two, the story, uh, a, a major, you know, which included a major plot point, the video of the major plot point, um, and gameplay leaked for for The Last of Us Part Two. Right? That's that's insane. That's really bad, right? Which obviously affected, even though the game sold over ten million, that you could tell it obviously affected. You know, it's it's sales because people saw their virtual daddy Joel die, and once they saw Joel died, um, in the way he died, they didn't care about anything else. I think that's weird, but it obviously affected, um, you know, obviously affected some people's uh, um, perception of the game, which led to led to it affecting sales, right? So now, The Last of Us um, Part One remake leaks, and the thing is, Naughty Dog said um, they identified the leakers of The Last of Us Part Two, They identified those, that individual or those individuals. So whoever leaked this is not the same person because they claim they, they found the, those leakers, right? So this is a whole nother leaker. So why do people keep leaking your game? No, no other Sony first party studio leaks. Bro, there's most third party, you know, developers games don't leak. And here's the thing, even when games do leak sometimes, you might get some off-screen footage, um, you know, that looked like somebody somebody uh, took it with, uh, took the picture with a Razer phone. You might get some dirty, low-res uh, gameplay where you can't necessarily make out anything. When your gameplay is leaking, like, bro, this is, this is like gameplay taken from like a capture card. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is directly from a, a, a capture card itself, and someone's leaking it. These are screenshots that somebody is taking with a device, with a, once again, with like a capture card. It, it's, it's direct gameplay, it's direct screenshots straight from the game being played itself. So it's not like somebody is, is using some type of, you know, super secret, you know, sneaky underhanded method to get this. Bro, they're, they're taking this right from the source. You know what I'm saying? That's weird. Y'all have a major like leaking problem. If I'm Neil, I'm pissed <laughs> because I'm the head of the studio. It looks bad on me that two games have, you know, two of my games in a row have leaked. We already know they're working on factions, you know, the standalone, which by the way, I want factions to leak, you know, the actual gameplay because we got some like prototype testing gameplay that that leaked which was really just like seemed like the last of us part two modded that wasn't real factions gameplay so i, I don't really count that i want to see some real gameplay so i'm gonna be real with you i don't mind if he leaks one more time and it's the last of and, it, and it's the factions right i actually want that um we know they're working on a brand new ip and listen as far as i'm concerned if I'm like Neil or Jim Ryan, and I'm sure Jim Ryan got to be pissed too and about to like lay down, you know, lay down some law, you want to fix this leak problem before you get any further in development with the, with this new IP. Like you got to you got to nip that in the bud, right? 
And another thing that I realized, both Last of Us Part, uh, this Part 1 remake and Part 2, they both leaked within a week of going gold. Last of Us Part 2 leaked a week before it went gold, and this game leaked, and, and, part, and part 1 remake leaked a week after it, it went gold. So some process within that time frame, right, whoever gets their hands on it at that point seems to be the leaker, right? That's when they seem to get access to it. When it get, when it goes gold, so whoever gets the game after it goes gold, that seems to be where the leak is coming from, because I doubt it's like, I doubt that this person who's leaking is you know has access to it before that point, because if they have access to it before that point, a leaker isn't going to be like you know what I want to be considerate and not leak the game before it's like fully finished. I want to leak the fully complete game. I don't think a leaker would care, right? And I, this leaker has to be like some low level. Um, employee contractor like a uh, like a some QA because I don't think like one of these developers who you know this is act their actual living you know they make good money they support their families and all like that they they support um, you know their way of life I don't think they're gonna take this type of risk it's not worth it for you it's it's career suicide not only for your current position but if you as a developer if you get branded as a leaker you know, in the industry, nobody's going to want you. So I doubt it's like one of these like real, uh, you know, em employees at no at Naughty Dog Studios, you know, because a lot of these game studios work with contractors and all that stuff. Um, people, you know, uh, individuals that don't necessarily work at the studio. So it's got to be one of those. But once again, why is it always your studio um, that's that's, you know, that seems to leak after this point? Um, we know there was. With The Last of Us Part Two, there was, you know, these rumors about disgruntled employees that those were debunked by like Jason Schreier. You know, he said, no, there was no disgruntled employee. Uh, even the QA workers, they got paid. They got paid well. They got paid for overtime. So somebody is weird because somebody's doing this and it, and it can't be for clout because they're not getting credit for it. And it's not like their their name is plastered or they're getting any type of credit. They seem to just want to do it. They want people to see it for for whatever reason. Right. But. Yeah, if I'm Jim Ryan, bro, I'm sending a very threatening email, but you're not necessarily threatening, but you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm paying an unannounced visit to Naughty Dog or, you know, uh, wherever they identify the, the leaker to be. I'm, I'm putting the fear of God on some people is what I'm saying. You got to scare the you got to scare somebody. At this point, bro, you got to put literally put the fear of God in somebody that, listen, I, I don't want to leak this game because something's going to come down on me. Right. You you got to. That's what you got to do. I'm sorry. You got to you really got to threaten some people. Um, so let's talk about the actual the actual gameplay. Right. So. Um, so, no, before that, actually, let's take a look <clears throat> at what we were told about The Last of Us. Uh, part one remake. So, and we told we were told this is from the direct from the PlayStation, um, you know, website and blog. Uh, enhanced visuals, completely rebuilt, naughty uh, using Naughty Dog's latest PS5 engine, which means this is the engine that they did uh, use to create The Last of Us Part Two. Um, Engine te technology to improve every visual detail, faster loading. We know the SSD, haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, 3D audio. Okay, yeah, we we know all this stuff. You know, we we believe all that all that's going to be there, right? But when you tell us that it's completely rebuilt from Naughty Dog's latest engine, I, I, people start to expect some things. Now, I think some of the things that people expected are a little bit far fetched and not unreasonable but i think it was it was wishful thinking right there were things that i expected that i'm not i'm still not necessarily seeing in this uh in this remake right so and then on this page this was the pay this was the uh what was released um when what was that jeff Keeley's summer game fest so it says we've implement Im implemented modern gameplay improved controls and expanded accessibility options in the single player experience to allow uh, allow 
even more individuals to enjoy the game. Effects, exp uh, exploration, and combat have been enhanced, leveraging the PS5's power, you know, with the haptic feedbacks, adaptive tri triggers, yada, 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 all that good stuff, right? Um, so, yeah. We, we knew, we knew uh, that's what people were expecting. Now, some people expected that this would be this would essentially be taking every good everything that made the last of us part 2 better and putting it in part 1 i think like i said i think that's that was absolutely wishful thinking to expect all of that that wasn't going to happen this is a remake right and there are different levels to remakes right let's talk about that there's different levels to remakes there are there are remakes that are kind of like renovations and there's remakes that are kind of like overhauls and which one is done really depends on the on the situation it usually depends on how how far the original how long ago the original game was released usually if it's a game that was released a long time ago you're going to get an overhaul if this was a game that was released more recently than that and, it, and it's still released during modern times you're still you're gonna get a renovation right few examples of like games that were more remakes that are actually called remakes that were that are like more renovations those are like uh the spyro trilogy um the spot yeah the spyro trilogy demon souls shadow of colossus i would say link's awakening is kind of like a high level renovation but they didn't add any type of like they didn't add mechanics necessarily to uh these get to these remakes they didn't dramatically change how the game plays right it, it's really just um, in the renovations, they kind of just add new assets. They stabilize the frame, the frame rate. They um, they clean up the animations. It's really just a, a cleanup job to make the game run smoother, play a little bit be better. You know, just it's it's a renovation. It's, they're not changing. You know, even though they do build the game from the ground from the ground up, they still use the same foundation or structures. I, they follow the same structure. They follow the same schematics, I should say, right? That's what the renovations are. They're going to follow the same schematics. They're not necessarily going to add nothing new gameplay-wise because I think once you add something new gameplay-wise, that even goes above what you consider like a quote-unquote remake. Some games that are like some remakes that are, that are um, you know, overhauls, like those. that's like Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, Resident Evil uh, two, two and three. Um, ma ma I would even say the Mafia remake. Um, yeah, those those are kind of like overhauls because with Resident Evil, for example, you can't release a top down game uh, like this top down um, tank control game in in 2019, 2020. Nobody wants to play that. Nobody wants nobody wants that. You can't release that. Like Resident Evil two. Uh, doesn't sell 10 million if if you release that game as like this top down you know tank control game in 2019 right you had to change it to an over the shoulder uh, third person shooter you have to do it that's the modernized version of it so you you got you got to do that right with last of us last of us is a more <clears throat> as I said recent game came out 2013 it's it's 2022 right now I'm not against them adding mechanics from from um from last of us part two right i'm not against it but i didn't expect it right because here's the thing as i've been saying on twitter you can't just arbitrarily drop features and mechanics from one game into especially into the predecessor and not do anything else you can't do that because think of think about the difficulty and the balance of how the last of us one the last of us one plays right think about how it is and and all the tools they give you in order to beat that game the you know your abilities have to be balanced with the with the challenge and the difficulties and the enemies and the ai and everything like that if you take for example prone and dodging and just drop it into part one and you don't change anything else like the enemies the behavior uh 
just anything else about the game, that game becomes very unbalanced now. You, you are literally OP because you're putting something in a game that wasn't designed for it and wasn't designed around it. Last of Us Part Two still is a challenge with those things, with those, with those mechanics is still a challenge because they designed the enemies and the levels around it. You, so you can't just drop it into part one. If you do put it in part one, now you gotta change the rest of the game around those mechanics, which once again, I'm not against. I'm just saying, if you do that, you gotta change the rest of the game. You gotta change the enemy AI to be more, uh, <coughs> a little, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit more aggressive. Change how they behave. They gotta be, you know, smarter, which I do think they should do anyway. I do think the AI in part one should not be the AI from, from the original game. You need to do that anyway, because the AI in part one was, you know, it could, it could range from mediocre to okay. So regardless of if you put, uh, you know, dodge or, um, or prone in, you need to fix that AI regardless. So I hope that AI is better. From, that, from those videos, I couldn't, I couldn't, really, I couldn't really tell, right? So yeah, all I'm saying is there's different levels of, um, of these uh, remakes. Now, there were three different gameplay leaks, I believe, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a. <clears throat> there were three different game gameplay leaks. There was one showing Sarah's death. There was um, a melee scene in the bookstore, and there's the part where um, the dude, fa the the black dude, fakes being hurt, and Ellie wants to stop, and Joel knows it's a trap. Right? There's that part. And first of all. Just for context, this guy's obviously playing on easy because when he gets shot, um, they, they're playing on easy at most of these parts because when he gets shot, you can look at the health bar and he literally loses almost no health at all. So he's playing on easy just for context. Um, <clears throat> you might have seen game, the, the gameplay that somebody uploaded to streamable uh, that was washed out. Um, just for context, again, that usually happens when somebody is playing with HDR on and they record with a capture device that doesn't support capturing in HDR, or you capture gameplay with HDR and you put it in an editing program and you don't render it with, H which, with HDR on. Tone mapping usually fixes that, so that's not actually how the game, the game would look, you know, how it looked washed out, just for people who were, who were wondering that. Um, <clears throat> the visuals, I'm not worried about, right? Because some people looking at the visuals, the, the, once we, if you have it directly in front of you, once you have it directly in front of you, if you plan to buy this, buy and play this game, I'm sure the visuals are going to look great. We're looking at compressed video um, on Twitter, on streamable, <clears throat> all that stuff. I'm, so the visuals is not what I'm worried about. The, the changing of the character models, uh, I'm like, I'm not necessarily for it. I should, like Tommy looks a little bit more like Chris Pratt now. Not a fan of that. Like, I don't think you were necessarily, I don't know why you needed to change that. Um, Tess, we know that we saw images of them changing how Tess looks. I'm not really that bothered by that necessarily. Um, I still think they, sh they should have kept the original look. It's, it's whatever. Um, it's not something that's like major, I'm gonna get upset about, but yeah, I don't know why they changed the character models. Going back to, once again, like I said, I talked about proning and dodging. Not, once again, not against them adding it, but if you are adding those mechanics, then, and, and the people who expected them to add those mechanics, what you want is literally a complete redesign of Last of Us Part One in its entirety. And that's usually not what remakes necessarily are. Like I said, people, when people think about Resident Evil 2 and stuff like that, Resident Evil 2 is usually the exception, right? That's not the rule of how remakes are usually done. Remakes are usually, usually don't add new mechanics. As I said, they usually just clean up things, modernize it and stuff like that. They usually don't add new mechanics because once you're adding new mechanics, you are changing you know, the structure of the game to where this, <clears throat> you could low key call this a completely different game, which once again, that's okay. That's what some people want in a remake. Some people are like, if you're not gonna go all the way and change all this stuff and, and add all this stuff, then why do this? Some people feel that way. I don't necessarily feel that way. To me, 
as long as it plays better, looks better, it plays a smoother experience than the original, then that's all I personally, you know, really want. That's the bare minimum. Um, but what I did want, like I said, I wasn't expecting prone or dodging. I was ex I was expecting better animations. Um, I was ex I am expecting um, better AI. I even ex I, I'm even expecting by uh, better body damage and dismemberment because you know last of us part two had um a good amount of that and if you're using their engine i don't see necessarily why that i don't think adding that dismemberment is necessarily gameplay <clears throat> affects gameplay that's more like aesthetic and a, and a visual uh, a visual thing right um so yeah i, I to me i expected I, ex I expect changes to the to the aiming the animations, which includes melee, um, the the AI and body and body damage. Those are the things that I really expected, right? But from what I'm seeing, animations pretty much look exactly the same. And I'm not saying dramatically change the animations, but I expected a, a, a bit different animations. And, and, and the scene, the gameplay leak when Joel is in the bookstore, it looks exactly the same. Like, because he, he hits... I think he does an upper body shot and then a mid shot and then a, maybe another upper body shot. And then there's there's always that little weird pause in between because he can only do it three times um, in a row. So yeah, I'm like, you could tell like this is literally the same, the same animation completely. So and 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 I don't know if it's going to happen in this game, but in Last of Us Part One, there would all, all there would be these weird times where where you would melee enemies but sometimes it wouldn't necessarily interact with their body if you get what i'm saying i don't know if that'll be fixed if they really haven't changed uh the animations um the ai i'm not sure because you know it, another issue was the ai running out there um your your um, ally ai running out there running right in front of enemies and the enemies not noticing them i'm hoping that's cleaned up if that's not fixed that's insane I couldn't really, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't really see anything crazy from the videos that we, uh, that have leaked. Um, the aiming, I do actually think looks like Last of Us Part 2. And the reason why I, I think it actually is the aiming of Last of Us Part 2 is because when you look at the gameplay, this from, from when Joel, uh, when Joel and Ellie got ran off the road, in The Last of Us Part 2, I actually like the aiming in The Last of Us, in the original Last of Us versus Part 2. Part 2, for some reason, had this strange, and even though they added customization things for you to customize your aim, I had there was this issue with Last of Us Part 2 where you would jump your target, right? It was just, the analog stick was just extra sensitive. So if you needed to make very fine movements, if, if an enemy... If, if an enemy was just like a little, a, you trying to get like a headshot and all you need to move is a centimeter, it would move like an inch just at the tap of, of the stick. And, that, and that's a big problem I had with Last of Us Part 2. I did not have that issue with Part 1. And I'm looking at the gameplay and this person, even though this person seems kind of trash, this person seems to keep um, jumping their target. And that might be because it's The Last of Us Part 2 aiming. And with The Last of Us Part 2, I tried I tried to fix the sensitivity. I, they had some other options in there um, for acceleration, a bunch of stuff. I, I tried to mess with a whole bunch of stuff, but I can never get the aiming exactly how I wanted it, right? So I think it actually is Last of Us Part 2 aiming, which I realized is not the good thing. Last of Us Part 1 aiming was better than Part 2. So you might have added the one bad thing from Last of Us Part, but from Part Two, and not included all of the good things. I'm sure they're gonna have like you know a bunch of the options um, and customization as they've said that they had in Part Two. Uh, but once again, I'm not sure about the AI. Not sure about the limb dis limb dismemberment and the and the body damage. You know the the animations, the the uh, you know even the enemy callouts. Though I wasn't necessarily expecting that, but would have been nice, right? And yeah, it, it would have been nice. And then, you know, cause they, you know, they had the system where they call each other out by name. Yeah, the only thing I didn't expect, once again, that people thought, assumed were gonna be in there and to give, you know, 
Naughty Dog credit. They didn't say that. You know, a lot of people put that on the game was the prone and the dodging. I didn't expect that. That's gameplay changing, right? So I didn't expect that. But like the other things that are like quality of life things, oh yeah, those should be in there. I don't, I don't disagree with that at all. No, there's no debate that that should be in there. It was a quality of life things. So yeah, I just, I didn't expect the most, but I expected some things. And it's weird that, it's simply weird that Naughty Dog has not, they haven't released gameplay. Like, why, why does your game go gold seven weeks before it launches and you haven't released gameplay? Especially after all, all these leaks happen. Why haven't you released gameplay? That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's a remake. You, there's, there's no, like, fear to put out a, a video of a remake. Um, there shouldn't be, because it's, it's a remake. It's a game that's already done and, and been successful. So there shouldn't be, like, this fear or apprehension to put out this, this footage that's already went gold. It's done. The only, the only thing that I can think, and it's not only with The Last of Us Part 1, part one remake, Sony seems to want to hold back a lot of gameplay, uh, which I assume is because they want to do some like grand blowout of gameplay at, at one of these shows, because there's going to be a show in September, but this game comes out September, right? So you, 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 can, you can't wait till then. The, the, like... You're not going to save Last of Us Part 1 gameplay for a show when this game comes out in, in, in September. So if you're not releasing it now, what, like, what, what are you waiting for? That's what I'm, there's, no, there's no reason from now to when this game releases in like six weeks. There's, no, there's nothing. There's no difference. Whether you release it now, next week, two weeks from now, a month from now is no difference. So just release it now. Just put the gameplay out there. Especially if it proves any of our thoughts wrong or any of the claims uh, this leaker says, because this leaker um, said there were no gameplay improvements, which for the most part, he for the most part, he seems to be right. Because at first I thought gameplay when he says no gameplay improvements, I thought maybe he's conflating um, no gameplay changes. Right. Because I didn't like once again. I didn't expect gameplay changes, but I absolutely expected gameplay improvements. Those are, you know, those are two different things. So if you can refute and shut down a lot of these, the things that are being said in these leaks, you should. So it's, it's weird. It's weird that they, they're so quiet and they haven't addressed it. Now to the final point, so I can, um, you know, Shut up, because I've been talking for 30 minutes. Am I am I gonna buy it? Technically, no, because Jack Move is my my share play partner, and he's already bought the game, and he said he feels bamboozled, <laughs> uh, low key. Um, so I don't technically have to buy it. But am I gonna play it? Absolutely. You know, because I'm still gonna play it for myself. I always play everything for myself. I'm gonna live stream it. Cause I still, you know, enjoy um, the uh, you know the the the, uh, the gameplay necessarily and the challenge of Last of and Last of Us. So I'm gonna play it. I'm a live stream it. Still gonna be a you know a, a good time with the with the viewers. And the, going back to my point about balancing, you gotta realize, right? Last of Us is supposed to be a survival game. You're supposed to have scarce resources. That's the, really what this game is supposed to be. That's why I've always said, if you don't play on Grounded, The Last of Us isn't really the game it's intended to be. Because other, if you play on any other difficulty, you're literally running around here with like Rambo. Like got a hundred, you know, shots, a uh, hundred bullets in every gun. You got mad Molotovs, you got, you know, maxed out Molotovs, maxed out everything. So it's it's not a it's not a survival game at that point. It's literally just a a shooter. It's literally just a shooting. You run around shooting everything in sight. No reason to use stealth. No reason to conserve conserve ammo. It's now with the game with you knowing that most people are not playing on grounded, right? And most people are going to have this abundance of ammo. Now, 
add add prone and add dodging into that. That makes the game even more easy. Like now now there's two more things that people can crutches people can rely on on top of having, you know, this abundance of ammo which they're technically not supposed to have. You know what I'm saying? So just saying. Once again, I'm not against it, but you it 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 would mess up balancing if you don't does you know um alter the game around it. So I'm gonna shut up now. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um the game is also coming out for PC. Um which I'm interested interested to see it on PC. I would since Jack Move is buying it on is already has bought it on PlayStation 5, I would probably buy it on PC. I know I'd be buying it buying these games on PC and um just doing the you know doing a little benchmark for it but uh I, listen i would still buy the game like i'm not even like treading around that like even with all these leaks and and you know seeing the disappointment stuff would i still buy it and play it absolutely there's i'm not even gonna pretend uh that i wouldn't when when there's games we want to play even when it's disappointing we still buy them and play them everybody does you know it just takes the right game for everybody so yeah that's it, y'all. Let me know what y'all y'all think about this. There was a lot to unpack. Um, yeah, Naughty Dog got to do something about these leaks, man. They gotta, they got, they gotta clean it up. It's not looking, it's not looking fav favorable, you know, for them that somebody can't hold their water, and it's and it's also ruining the perception of their games. Maybe some would say maybe for good. Some would say would say this guy's a hero because. He he revealed uh, lots lies. You know this. Some of this stuff does seem like lies. So some people consider this guy a hero because he's revealing things um, that people might not have known otherwise. Even though we expect Naughty Dog to release some gameplay, and people may have seen it anyway. But some people, like I said, see this guy as doing the right thing. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. I'll, uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, subscribe if you're not. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.